Decision making in Python. Why do we need to make a decision? What are its statements? If else statements, nested if statements, and change conditionals? What are single statement conditionals? Composite conditionals? In this lecture, we will answer such questions. When do we need to make a decision? When you wish to do something only when a condition is true. Say you want to go out grocery shopping, but you only do so if it isn't raining. So to make this happen, we use if statements. It takes an expression or say a condition and checks whether this is true. If it is, it executes the block of statement under it. Observe the flow. Begin. It reaches the condition. If this is true, it executes the block of code. It moves to the next statements. If, however, it was false, it does not execute the block of code under it and skips to the statements after it. Say A is 7. Write a condition or an expression after the if statement and use a colon after that. We don't use curly braces in Python. Which is why indentation is mandatory. Here we use an f string to print the value of A with the statement is good. If it contains multiple lines of code under it, Indent all lines equally. This can be spaces, tabs, or a combination of both. This print 7 is good. Okay, goodbye. You can also use an expression like 1 or a condition that's always true. We can also specify what to do when the condition or expression isn't true. These are if-else statements and we put them after the if block. Begin. It reaches the condition. If this is true, it executes the block of code under the if statement. It moves to the next statement. If, however, it was false, it executes the other block of code and then moves to the statement after it all. Let's see how we do this. If 2 is less than 1, print 2. Else, print 1. Since 2 is not less than 1, this prints 1. Note that it is not possible to use two else's at once. This gives us a syntax error. So what can we do if we want three conditions? We'll get to that. Is it possible to put if statements inside other if statements? Begin. It reaches the condition. If this is true, it executes the block of code under it. Among these statements is another condition if this is true, it executes the statements under it. And then it moves on to the statements after that. If any of these conditions is false, it cuts through and skips right to the statements after it all. Let's take an example. A and B are 1 and 2. Now, if A is 1, Notice that we use two equal signs for comparing and one for assigning. If A is 1, it prints 1. Now, if B is 3, which means if A is 1 and B is 3, it prints 3. This gives us 1 since A is 1 but B is not 3. Let's talk about chained conditionals. In Java, we can use else's statements to declare multiple conditions and possibilities. In Python, there's no else if, but we have the elif keyword. 
begin, it reaches condition 1. If this is true, it executes the block of code under it. Then it reaches the statements after the entire elif ladder. If condition 1 is rather false, it checks condition 2. If this is true, it executes the block of code under it. And then reaches the statements after the elif ladder. If, however, condition 2 is false, it checks condition 3. If this is true, it executes the block of code under it and then reaches the statements after the elif ladder. If even condition 3 is false, it skips right to the statements after the ladder. We can keep this going as long as we want. In this lecture, we learned how to make decisions with Python. See you around.